Now, it's not just trying to take away your guns and your rights, but Democrats are also forcing truckers here to ultimately lose their jobs. And this isn't getting enough news, which is why I want to cover it here on the Bald Brad Show. And maybe it's not getting enough news because it might just be a California thing. But what I've always said is that some some leftist states, Democrat-ran states, which there's other Republicans that live in those Democrat-ran states, is when you see certain things in California that are happening, that can also roll over into Washington, uh, Portland, Oregon, or the state of Oregon that could roll into New York and other avenues. So that's why you should look at California as a possibility of being enacted within your state as well. So this taking place in Oakland, there was a protest taking place by these truck drivers that choked traffic um, in a seaport on Monday, protesting a state law that makes it harder for independent contractors to transport goods and could limit labor at the state's already clogged seaports, threatening to worsen the nation's pandemic fueled supply chain jams. Basically, there's no reason to do this right now. If you want to have this fight, have it later on. If you were to do it, I don't agree with it, but if you were to do it, have the fight when we figure out the supply chain issue. Stop shooting yourself in the foot, Democrats. Let this go. You need to let it go, let things figure out, and then have that fight later on. You need to choose your battles on when to have them. Not right now, but they don't understand that. Again, they're, they're fueled by this emotion and this pent-up buildup to have power over people. California ports handle about 40% of container goods that enter the United States. Trucking disruptions come at a time when unions and West Coast port employers are also negotiating a high-stakes labor contract. The law known as AB5, or the Gig Worker Law, sets tougher standards for classifying workers as independent contractors. You also see this with Lyft, uh, Grubhub, Uber, and things like this that are going to affect them as well as being independent contractors. So independent truckers who now operate under the authority and insurance of companies that hire them for jobs would be shouldered with the hefty costs and red tape of taking that on when the law is enacted. Quote, they want to eliminate us, said an independent driver who joined dozens of protesters on Monday at Oakland Seaport in San Francisco Bay Area. Wayne Fang, wearing a no on AB5 t-shirt, told Reuters the law would also be financially draining that drivers aren't making anything. So why do it in the first place is basically what he's saying, and, and you're just going to hurt things at the end of the day. Legal challenges kept the law from going into effect in 2020. So again, this has been going on for a couple of years. I first heard it with the Uber and Lyft, I believe it was. But the Supreme Court last month denied a California Trucking Association petition claiming the law is blocked by federal regulations. Experts say an injunction that put the law on hold could soon be lifted. More than 100 drivers and small trucking company operators opposed the law swarmed two terminal gates in the port of Oakland, slowing truck entry to a trickle. The action came as port truckers in Los Angeles picketed gates and snarled roadways at the nation's busiest seaport complex last week. And I actually saw footage of that, them just stopping on the freeways and completely just gridlocking everything. There's a lot of powers these truckers have. And right now they're screwing with the wrong end of the business right now. You mess with the bull, you're about to get the horns. You shouldn't be screwing with this. And for some reason, for some reason, they just have to do this. I, and I'm talking about the truckers. I'm talking about the politicians. Why do you got to... I'm trying to keep it PG here and not cuss, but why do you got to screw around? I don't understand what's the benefit of this right now when we're trying to figure out the supply chain issue and you're pulling this stunt. You have business owners also kind of up in arms about it and said that AB5 would devastate his port trucking firm, which relies on 10 independent drivers to move everything from medical equipment to almonds. And you might be thinking, well, why can't everybody just be unionized? First of all, not everybody wants to be unionized. Even me as a teacher, I didn't want to be in the union. And, and sometimes it's more expect, uh, expensive. Sometimes you're getting outcompeted by other people, right? So, and and some some firms can't afford to pay a unionized worker because it's so expensive. Where maybe they can compete themselves with different truckers that are you know subcontracted or leased out that they can then pay them rather than paying these union workers. So there's a lot of benefit for these firms to utilize them, and they're saving saving money, but. Soon enough, they might be saying, well, hell, I, I'm screwed. I might have to go out of business here because of what politicians are doing, but they don't care. It's all an agenda here. They're trying to appease the unions. That's what these politicians are in place for. They're always trying to appease somebody, which goes back again through all the stories we went over. Where's the money going? Whose pocket is it going into? It's not going into Americans' pockets. I'll tell you that much. It's not going into fixing anything. It's only going to go into hurting things. And right now, what they're doing with this is they're trying to hurt things. They're trying to make things worse. There's... uh. An estimated 70,000 truckers who own and drive their own trucks under this law. These ports need these trucks. I mean, 
I know I, I, I was just down there because I went on a cruise this summer and I saw just how many containers there are and the backlog that is taking place is just mind blowing. And again, I mean, Long Beach, the San Pedro port are some of the biggest ports in all of North America. And it is astonishing just how much stuff is going on and taking place there. And they want to screw around with this. And this is the third day truckers have protested the California's gig labor law. And it also comes from the platforms. Here you go. Uber, Lyft, and DoorDash. A two-year legal stay was recently lifted by the Supreme Court. So rather than just fixing it, solving it, they want to continue to just push it right into the ground. And this is going to affect 2,100 trucks that go through the terminal each freaking day. So wanted to keep you up to date on all of that. This is going to have you know, massive problems with all of you because like, I, like we just read, 40% of this comes through that port. And you also have the port of LA that is currently at 90%, 90%. So again, just picking the wrong time to fight with people and just doing idiotic things. But why should we expect any sort of a Democrat politician right now to not do anything idiotic other than maybe Joe Manchin? Seems like he's the one that has his head out of the sand. Everybody else is just, I don't know what the hell they're doing. It, it just always mind boggles me. There's people that are willing to vote these people in office. Like who are the Americans that just go, oh, this is a great idea. I don't know. Well, there you have it, folks. That is Thursday's show. As always, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Hit the plus and leave us a comment down below and leave us a lovely five-star review if you're watching on any of the podcast airwaves. Your help and support would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you later here on The Bald Brad Show. I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.